everyone. You've been looking at some beautiful, beautiful colors with the light shining through. And I wanted you to get a sneak peek at things before I started explaining it to you. But these are what we call sun catchers and they're beautiful when light comes through them. Now here they're on foil, but at home when you're done with these, you will want to put them in a window and you can simply put them in with a tiny piece of scotch tape on the back and um, they will let the light shine through and it just creates a beautiful collection of colors wherever you have them hanging. So make sure you put them somewhere where light can go through them. Now these are very lightweight and you can see when I pick them up and I wave them. So they're going to be easy to work with. This is our finished product. What I'm going to do is move it over for now. We'll bring it back later and show you that it all starts out with a coffee filter. Now, even if you don't drink coffee, you can get these at the grocery store or you can get them at one of the dollar stores. They don't cost a lot and you get a lot in a package so that you can make as many of these as you would like. Now, these look like they're painted. Well, let me show you the tricks that we have. You remember our markers sometimes are going to act like paint and that's what's going to happen here. So I'm just going to start with random colors. I don't have any sort of plan as far as any kind of pattern. I'm just going to add colors. I'm going to use the side, remember, not the tip for right now, but the side. And I'm just going to do some sections of color. Okay. Love my purple. And I think I will go for a little bit of green. I'm going to put some over here. Right. and oh let's put some yellow over here remember you can turn turn your filter any way you want to did you notice I have a piece of aluminum foil down that's going to be a good thing for you to do at home everybody has it I pulled out about 16 inches because later we're going to use some water and I know that you would rather not get the water all over your mom's counter so here we go with some more colors. Oh, let's add a little bit of orange. Remember, use the side. And don't worry about what's going through to the foil. It's doing its job. It's exactly why we have it, so that we don't have color getting on somebody's countertop. Okay. Oh, let's see. We have not put any blue in there. Let's put some blue in. And I don't think... Let's try some... Oh, it looks a lot like the red. So I'm going to sneak in some red right here. They're similar. Okay, now what are we going to do in the middle? All right, I'm going to make it different. I'm going to do just a funny kind of circle there. And I'm going to put some yellow in here. And right in the middle, I just think I'll put some sunshiny orange right in the middle. Okay, now what are we going to do with this? I've got some water right here in an old cup and I'm going to take my hand and just start sprinkling water all over my coffee filter that's filled with colors. And you know how you flick it with your hands? Mm -hmm. Flick it with your hands. Okay, and then I'm going to pick up a paper towel and lay it down and I'm going to lay my coffee filter on the paper towel. Now for just a moment I'm going to move my foil and some of it's going to go out of the picture but you know that your design is laying on top of the coffee filter and by the way something kind of fun while it's wet if you wanted to add some color while it was wet you could do that if you want to come along the edges and add some color Mm -hmm. It will not hurt your marker. Oh, let's see. Now that I'm doing this, I think it's kind of fun. I'm just going to add a little bit more color anywhere I want to. Ooh, a little bit over here. Okay. I'm going to move this out of what you can see, and I'm going to show you something else. I want to show you a dry paper towel. And these were left from when I made these beautiful examples. In fact, you can see the round outline right there on the paper towel of where I picked up my 
beautiful sun catcher. And what I love is, see how pretty it is on both sides? If any of you need to give a gift to somebody, or you just wanted to wrap up a little treasure that you had for yourself, this makes great wrapping paper. It's like original artwork. And all it's from is from your beautiful sun catcher that's laying on your paper towel drying. Now, in the summertime, it's great if you can just take your paper towel that has your wet sun catcher on it and just take it outside and put it down somewhere flat to dry. You'll be surprised how quickly they dry. And once this starts really getting dry, you can take it off and you can let this dry. And remember, it goes through the back so you have beautiful decorations on your wrapping paper. If it were me, I would love to get a gift wrapped up in some of this original artwork. You can see over here, this sun catcher might have been on that one. You can see the round outline. So take them outside to dry. I wonder how our sun catcher is doing. I'm not outside, so mine will not be drying as quickly as yours will when you take it outside. It came right back, and you can see it's starting to, the, the colors are starting to blend, blend, blend together. And I'm going to pick this up. Oh, that is a beautiful design. Now, this sun catcher's not dry yet, but it will be in a few minutes if we take it outside. But I just wanted you to see how the colors will start blending. When you make your sun catcher, you can do any design you want, and the water is what makes the color spread. If you have a couple of spots where you think you need a little more water, you can do that. Now, I would say don't get too crazy with your water because you don't want it to be drippy like a washcloth would be, but let the um, water do the work for you. But when they dry, you'll have your own beautiful sun catchers. Enjoy. It's a fun way to use coffee filters.